President Yuri Museveni appointed over 300 assistant RDCs and RCCs. Now the leader of opposition, Joel Senyonyi, wants to know the relevance of these new members and the criteria used to recruit them. We have to understand whether now assistant RDCs are taking over the work of the inspectorate of government because there seems to be a lot of duplication. Also, if you're saying they are meant to carry out mobilization, for what exactly? Section 70 provides that these are meant to be people of high moral integrity. People whose conduct is not questionable. Members of parliament resolved that the questions of the roles and responsibilities of the new assistant RDCs and RCCs require the Minister for Presidency, Mili Babalanda, to explain. The government chief whip, Hamson Oboa, said their role is to sustain their stay, while Honorable David Bahati challenged lead of opposition by reminding him that it is parliament that approved money for assistant RDCs and RCCs. I wish to request your chair to give time to the Minister for the Presidency to come and provide um, clarification on the appointment of the assistant resident district commissioners. In this budget, we approved money for assistant RDCs. We approved it in the budget, in the budget. And the minister has taken action. Then you come back as if you are not involved. You were involved in approving this let's, position. Let's the get it. The Speaker of Parliament, Anit Anita Mong, ruled that the minister appears before Parliament with documents indicating the amount of money appropriated for recruitment of the new RDCs and the criteria used. And this is the criteria and these are the requirements of a person. You cannot pick somebody just from nowhere to 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 you get uh, to to come and claim to be another DC when a person has a bad track record. Some members of parliament continued to react on the issue with recommendations for the minister to also bring the education qualifications for new appointed RDCs. As now, it's part of what we should focus on to develop some of those roles that govern the process of even appointing RDCs. You should be Honorable members, yes. I have already. If we have been having the, uh, the type of Anderson existing, the current that they have appointed right honorable, the current ones, I have an example of one who didn't even go to school at all, but is also posing as the assistant. So this is where we are going. So we request that. Meanwhile, Kalungu MP Joseph Sewungu brought to the House the issue of Massacre Road that had broken down, emphasizing that it should be urgently fixed. And the, Madam Speaker, they worked on the bridge of Katonga, but ever since they put a provision, they are not doing anything ever since then. It is also sinking day by day. But see, what is happening, people are suffering. I'm Navka Farida and Gloria Gwitabinji in Parliament.